In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to give you some of the better techniques you can use to utilize the freeze frame effect in PowerDirector. This is where you take the action in a video and cause it to look frozen on the screen for as many seconds as you desire. I have a clip of a Jeep on a beach on track number one. The first thing I have to do is move my playhead to the frame that I want to freeze. Let's assume we want it to start out as a frozen shot and then it moves into action. So I'm going to press the home key. That will get me all the way back to the first frame of this video clip. And then I'm going to right click on it and choose the option that says Edit Video Image. In the second pop-up screen, I have an option that says Freeze Frame. When I click on it, two things will happen. It will take a picture of that particular frame and it will store it in my media room. Here it's called Snapshot and if I take, take them, it will use the same name and then simply put a number behind it and then it will insert it at that location in my timeline. I can change the duration of the freeze anytime I want. I can click on it and click on the duration button and I notice here it's four seconds long so I could edit that number. If I use this quite a bit and want to fix the duration at some particular uh, amount of minutes or frames, I can click on the gear at the top and then I can click on editing and when I do that the captured file is an image file and here is where I can change the default duration under image files I could change that perhaps to three seconds if I wanted to and so from now on out it would give me a three second shot but you can edit the duration anytime you want as well when you do this you can change the alias of this snapshot doesn't help me much so what I would probably do would be edit clip alias change alias and I'll simply call it uh, beach start and now I have something a little better here uh, when I'm working in my project so if I go ahead and play this we'll get back into our movie mode hit the space bar and it starts out with the Jeep frozen on the screen and then it begins to take off. So at the beginning of a clip or end of a clip is a nice place to do the freeze. If I want to freeze anywhere in the clip, besides beginning or end, again, all I need to do is move to the frame, right click, choose Edit Video Image, choose the Freeze Frame option, and it will go ahead and take a snapshot of that image. Notice it changed the number. It will insert it in the media room, insert it in the clip. I can right click on it and I can change the alias if I want to. I will just call this Jeep 2 and then click on OK. And now as it goes along the beach, we see the Jeep moving, it freezes. I might want to put an ad here or something else and then it resumes. Freeze frames are often used for emphasis or at the beginning and end of clips. Let me give you another option that you have in PowerDirector. The other option you have is before I do a freeze frame, I can click on the, the gear, the preferences, and I can click on the file menu. This tells me where it will store the freeze frame. That's my export folder. The other option I have is on, I can determine the kind of uh, name for the file. I'm simply calling it snapshot and I can control the uh, file type. I can use BMP, J a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG. So you can control all those features. Also under editing you have another option here that says add an effect and a title when using freeze frame. So let's turn that on and see what that does. Let's assume in this case we're going to put a freeze frame at the end and I'll press the end key to get to the last frame and then I'm going to right click and we'll do our edit video image. We'll go to freeze frame and now you notice two things happen that we didn't see before. The freeze frame, you notice the I, it means we have an effect here 
on the freeze frame, it automatically added the SEPA effect. If I want to change that, I click on the image, click on effect, and here I can go ahead and change that effect. I can change the font color uh, to anything else I like. Let's say we want it green, or it's green, or um, I could keyframe it if I wanted to, or I could actually remove the effect by clicking on it and pressing the minus key. And now there is no effect. The other thing it did is it also added a title. And if you go down to the track below it, it automatically inserted it. And we can go ahead and edit the title or change it any way we like. Uh, we can call it Beach Ride. And change the font location, size, anything else we want here uh, in this particular segment. But if you want to automatically have it uh, start with giving you a, a colorization effect and a title, uh, it will do that. So here as we end this one, uh, it's driving down the beach and then all of a sudden I have this. I can also take the clip and do other things with it. I'm going to click on here and we'll double click to get into our pip designer. And in this case, let's make it fade out. So I'll take my time indicator. I'll go on the opacity at the beginning. Click my diamond so I have a keyframe there. And let's move into it about, oh, let's move two seconds in. And then I'm going to move my opacity scale down to zero. That sets another keyframe. And so if I click on OK now, I not only have it frozen as I play it, but it will also begin to fade out. So you can do anything you can with an image in CyberLink PowerDirector once you've applied the freeze frame technique. It works like any other image file. We hope you found this useful as you use freeze frames in your projects.